Hi, it's Richie with SonicDad.com, here to bring you another preview of our next project, which is going to be the first in a new series we're calling Super Sonic Projects. They're more of an expert level, requiring a little more skill, a little more time to build. They will be a skill level 6 through 9. So if you've built some projects that are skill level 4 and 5 and you're ready for a new challenge, I think you'll love this next project. So number 53 is the first supersonic project. It's the Sonic DC Motor. It's going to be a skill level six, a, about a four hour build. It's made from a wooden craft plaque, some paint stir sticks, a battery clip, permanent magnet, some craft wire, a couple of ballpoint pen springs, a wooden dowel, some O-rings, and a couple of different fasteners. So I've been wanting to build a uh, DC motor for a Sonic Dad project for a long time. And I thought since we're introducing this new series, this expert level series, this would be the, the perfect time to do it. So I've played around with a lot of different uh, designs and this is the final version. I really like how it turned out. Um, a lot of fun to build. I think you'll enjoy it. But I wanted to show uh, some of the design features of this project. It uses a uh, plaque. I bought this at Walmart. This is just a uh, craft plaque. I think I paid a dollar for it. Makes a great base. Of course the uh, the uprights and the gussets are made from paint stir sticks. I like to paint my frame with uh, a truck bed liner. It's a little more expensive than spray paint, but it's got really cool texture. It makes your base and your frame kind of look like a casting, and I, I really like that look. Probably the most difficult part of building a DC motor is finding the magnet wire. It's expensive and kind of hard to find sometimes. I found this craft beading wire at Walmart. It's 24 gauge um, copper core with a non-conductive coating on it, which is what you have to have for building a coil. But this, uh, this wire comes in a 20 foot length and the length and the gauge are the perfect combination for this coil on this motor. The other important thing uh, on a DC motor are the brushes and the commutator. For the brushes I use a brass paper brad. This is actually a chrome or a brass plated steel but it works just fine. So you take some heavy duty shears and you cut the legs off and they become great little brushes for your motor. And I install those inside of a ballpoint pen spring. That gives you uh, just enough spring preload for your commutator for making contact with your commutator. The commutator design is pretty simple. I just use the, the ends of the coil bring them across the dowel. I hold them in place with a couple of O-rings, uh, put them in position so your timing's right, and then you uh, just take your X-Acto knife and you scrape off the non-conductive coating and that becomes your commutator. The bearings are uh, a thumbtack glued on each end of the dowel. They rest inside of uh, the Phillips head on a couple of uh, bolts and that makes a great little bearing. The same system I used on the last project for the Sonic Balance Mobile. But these bearings you uh, can adjust just right so you have just the tiniest amount of play and very low friction so it works out really well. Now uh, this motor of course is not designed for high torque and you know high RPM. It's more of a cool showpiece that you can build. It's also great for educational purposes. Um, you can actually feel the pulses as you hold on to the coil and move it around as the, uh, the brushes come in contact with the commutator, you can feel that little magnetic pull across the permanent magnet. So really great for uh, learning how DC motors work. But it's just a, it's a fun build, a fun little item you could put on your desk or on a child's dresser. It actually uh, runs pretty efficiently. I've tested the prototype for a couple of days straight on one AA battery, so I was pretty happy with that. But I just wanted to talk about uh, for a minute some of the other supersonic projects that we'll have coming out. And they'll come out periodically. Of course, we're going to uh, keep releasing normal Sonic Dad projects that are skill level 1 through 5. And once in a while, we'll come out with a fun supersonic project. Um, one of the ones that I want to do in the future will be a wiring kit, wiring setup for uh, Sonic action figure display stands. This will have a, a wall adapter plug into your wall. I have a potentiometer so you can adjust the lighting level, which is really great if your child is using it as a nightlight. But still good if you're using it as an action figure display stand and you want to adjust the lighting. And then after that, once you've got it wired to a DC power source, um, I'll show you how to add some electroluminescent wire to your action figure display stand. That's really cool. 
And then a uh, project after that, we'll be showing you how to add electroluminescent wire to action figures. And that's really cool and really fun. I think you'll enjoy that. But for now, this is Project 53, the Sonic DC motor. I hope you enjoy building it. I had a lot of fun designing it and um, putting it together. If you like what we do, like this video and subscribe to our channel. And also like us on Facebook. We really appreciate your support. So until next time, I'm Richie with SonicDad.com. Now it's your turn to go make something cool.